G'day, in today's episode I'm having a crack at Woodfather's jig and what that basically is, is a variable width box joint jig for the table saw and done as such that you don't need a dado stack which I'm pretty sure is illegal here in, in New Zealand and Australia anyway. I come across this jig during the recent Wood Jigs 21 challenge uh, that was put out by, by James at Fix It Fingers and uh, Mario the Woodfather made a simpler version of this jig many years ago which um, unbeknownst to me as I'm, as I'm a bit of a bit of an amateur and he, he's, he's made an updated version of which I'll put the, the link to the plans down below um, and it just blew my mind the simplicity of it um, but at the same time the, the brilliance and, and ease and um, given another dimension to the table saw um, yeah I just couldn't couldn't resist so uh, popped over to his website and, and downloaded the plans and um, yeah I'm stoked so yeah let me know if you've got any questions So, in the interest of telling telling the story how it's really going, um, I'm just giving you a quick quick update on progress. So it's Friday night now. I started doing this jig on Sunday night, a little bit at a time. I'm talking half an hour to an hour at a time. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, hammered it out. Wednesday, we were ready for a trial run. Give it a trial run and. I'd made a couple of mistakes, so two errors purely on my part. Um, error number one, um, I'd made myself some two by four to as as, as part of the platform. Um, it it had a slight bow to it. I hadn't really noticed at the time, and in the process of putting it onto the onto the um, onto the plywood that there was the base, it's warped the plywood. It's pulled it all up to itself and in doing so sort of threw the whole thing off kilter and, and has allowed some um, inaccurate cuts within that or uh, so so the theory goes anyway um, second part to that the tracks weren't quite perfect either so it's become uh, quite quite heavy to, to push um, was the third mistake I said two a second ago didn't I third mistake 
Um, I've made the fence too high, I think. I think it's just become uh, much bigger than it needed to be. Um, me still trying to sort of work it out as I go. Mario's plans are meant, um, but they do leave a bit of room for interpretation. And I was too eager to fire into it. And I've just sort of, um, I've gone a few steps too, too far before stopping and thinking about it. Um, so anyway, in a grump on Thursday night, I didn't do anything. I sat in front of the TV and, uh, and, and spent a solid sort of 48 hours thinking about it. And um, yeah, I couldn't really let it let it die quite yet so here I am Friday night I've just basically redone it so I've got all this melamine coated MDF that I've decided to make another base out of that make sure I get the tracks lined up properly first I've got some you know treated pine 2x4 um, that is straight and true so the fence um, and that sort of platform is is all straight now. I've not made the fence as high and that's where it's at. So I'm sort of supposed to turn the camera around, isn't it? So that's attempt one. And um, as you can see, I mean, that's there's enough play in that. I mean, it's not a perfectly flat surface in itself, but there's enough play in that that you can see getting that and that's because this this 2x4 that I've constructed is, um, is piss poor. So as you can see it's a bit more straight and true. Runners are a lot better. I've gone for a, a slight thicker a 9mm as opposed to the 6mm I'd used previously too which I think wasn't giving me a great great running guide. Yeah and that's that's where we're at. So yeah that's the Friday night update. Would have been really easy to um, gloss over that could have just seen a bit of bad continuity when uh, you see the test pieces looking good after my uh, after my troubles but I think uh, in many respects is my favorite part of, of woodworking and making is the uh, is the trial and error getting it wrong and sort of seeing it through so yeah I suppose by the time you're watching this I've probably worked it out job done um, not without fault along the way but I'm stoked um, I decided to redo it after um, moping about it for two days um, yeah I think it I think it's wicked I think everybody should give it a go um, it, for me it goes right up there with the uh, with the cross cuts land when it comes to, to a table saw um, versatility um, you know, the, the ability to change a different different widths um, but look, I'm by no means an expert, this is my first first crack at it and I think it looks pretty cool. For further reading, I'll pop the links down below to Mario's YouTube channel with his um, probably better explanation than I've done. Thanks for watching. <laughs>